actually just go on. Because, <laughs> um... The flickering has hopefully stopped. Yep, it looks fine now, so, um... Yeah, let's continue. I guess, um, tomorrow I'll buy a new USB hub, and hopefully that will work. This one is actually pretty old, I've had it for like... For as long as I've had this PC. Maybe about, um, seven years now? Well, I guess that's reached the end of life. <laughs> Alright, continue on. Gotta do now. Um, I think I was just gonna fill in details for the for this. I'll just be right back. So I forgot to um, unmute myself. <laughs> Alright, let's continue with um, yeah, filling in some details and then we'll just um, complete that with uh, some value distillation. Throwing out some fancy terms now. Just lie on top of the um, this coloring here. And thank goodness you can't hear that clicking sound <laughs> from me typing. For some reason, it's very loud tonight. fill that with the usual grey. Oops. That's the wrong brush. Am I been on the right layer? No, I'm not. Okay, check this coloring, that is the right layer now. Let's prepare that color too, so it's just got a bit of contrast. Oh, now that um <laughs> the webcam is temporarily out of commission, I can get into a more comfortable position, so just a moment please. need to color in the sleeves. Mm. 
Uh, I probably might just leave that alone. Uh, actually, I'll just color it in white. It's fine. Do this. redo all this. Gotta be careful with this because I don't have a mask now. Or well, masking layer, I should say. spot to color in. Whoops. That's not even, um, yeah, the whole thing is wrong. Whoops. I guess in the future I would not recommend being lazy like this and just make a new layer. sleeve here. Looks like there's still a bit of a outline there. I'm not sure if you can see that right here. Maybe I can do something about that. Uh, apparently I can't. <laughs> it might be part of the um, the outline layer. Might not have um, erased it properly. But that's okay. Keep going, I guess. Maybe white's not a great color to do here, but oh well. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'll probably just um, continue streaming until about 12, and then I'll finish up. Well, maybe 1 o'clock will do. I want to get like all this um, shading in at the very least.
I uh, can't tell if the audio is being weird or it's just your PC dying. I'm not too sure either myself. Because my PC is having issues and it's kind of uh, driving me up the wall right now. Uh, before my whole like um whole thing was just like yeah <laughs> not having a good time and thanks for dropping by Shadow's Dusk I appreciate it uh what's the audio doing Oh, thanks for dropping by again, AFK. Been a pretty scuffed afternoon or pretty scuffed evening, but yeah. <laughs> Let's just press on. I just um have a play with the eyes for a bit. Just gonna have some water. Oh yeah, when I get my USB hub tomorrow as well, I'll run out and get some um honey and lemon. Because uh, my throat isn't doing too well right now. And I need a lot of hydration. <laughs> uh, that right eye looks more or less okay. But that left eye, I don't really like it that much. Uh, what brand hub? I still haven't bought one. Um... I was thinking of getting another M-Beat one, it did last for quite a while, but maybe I should try something else, just, um, yeah, after tonight. <laughs> Everything else still works at the very least, like my keyboard, mouse and stuff, it's just, um, high-powered devices, like the, um, capture card and the webcam seems to just not be having a good time. Uh, but yeah, I was looking at getting an M-Beat. Uh, I'll have a look around after the stream tonight and see, like, see what's available. Because, um, <laughs> better knock on wood, don't jinx it. I mean, uh, I'm already getting a USB hub, I might as well, like, go out and buy other stuff too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember you, last time you asked me about the USB hub, and you said MB must have been like an Australian brand or something, because you don't have it at all. Yeah, I think that might actually be an Australian brand, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, you only saw AU side selling them. That sounds about right, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to lock that and hide that. And then we're going to have a play with this layer here. This is very unconventional, but <laughs> let's do it. Come on, get into the right layer. Any brand you see from Thailand, you just avoid them, you don't trust them.
Have you tried any like Thai brands for anything else? I'll just get my eraser. Brought a, you bought a phone adapter once. <laughs> Uh, how did that, how did the phone adapter go? It made, it made a pop sound and all you felt was burning. That, uh, that doesn't sound very safe. to increase the resolution at some point because this is um not very good <laughs> threw it out instantly and let my lesson that if the price is too good to be true just to just avoid it yeah it sounds that's probably a good <laughs> good thing to follow if I can make it similar to the other side That doesn't look quite right. Maybe she only had enough money to get her eyelashes done on one side. Or maybe she's in, bet in between appointments. <laughs> I'll give her like a little backstory. Let's know that she doesn't have eyelids here. That's not good. Man, does that look interesting? Whoops. Redo that, please. How did you get eyelashes down? I always want to add more than necessary, and I want them to be even on both sides. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm actually not that good with eyelashes at all. Like, um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do them, to be honest. Um, I think, uh, sorry, the song just interrupted me. <laughs> all the feels just came on at once. But, um, I found the best eyelashes that I've drawn was from looking at looking at um my god <laughs> was expecting something like I just do whatever um yeah good thing the webcam is off I'm just gonna start ugly crying I can't even do eyelashes <laughs> man Bloody uh, hay fever season, am I right? Anyway, 
the best eyelashes I've done is when I look at actual like photos of people and then I'm um, just trying to copy. Yeah, man, it's <laughs> that was an impressively realistic sniff. Yeah, man, it's um, it's the hay fever. I'm telling you, in winter, dead center of winter. Um, anyway, I think if you just um copy like an actual portrait of a person and how their eyelashes look there. You'll get like pretty close and the rest is just um just keep repeating it I guess until it looks good. Like straight on I can draw eyelashes pretty well, but when it comes to like side like three quarters, like this uh picture right here, that's when I start having trouble. Um it also doesn't help that the original image that I'm referencing as well is um, like anime style, so it doesn't actually have eyelashes. <laughs> I'm kind of just trying to do what looks right. But yeah, generally, um, you'd want to follow the with the eyelashes themselves. You want to follow the direction that um, the eye is facing. So if the eyeball is kind of like facing that direction, then you want the eyelashes to go that way. Same with here. The eyeball is like facing that way because of, um, you can't see my hand gestures now because I don't have a webcam. So I'll do my best to explain it. Like, although you're looking this way, the eyeball is kind of facing that way. So again, eyelashes should go that way. And you just got to remember that like, Eyeballs and eye sockets, they're not just flat circles, they're spherical as well. So when you draw like from the side, you have to make sure it's like curves like that as well. Um, I'll probably do some kind of cold while watching Final Fantasy XIV stuff again. Dude, AFK just finished um, Heaven's Ward, he's up to the patch content. And I don't know what he's going to think about um, Stormblood, but I hope he's not in Kelvin's camp at the very least. <laughs> uh, you're awful with eyes. It always looks like they have a lazy eye. Um, yeah, again, I think um, with eyes, it's very important to look at pictures of actual people. And... Look at actual people and just um, note like how where their eyes are facing, because um, you can't really draw things based on real life without actually knowing how to draw it, even if it means that you have to copy it. If you just um, make a like a mental note of where, <laughs> if you just make a mental note of like how everything looks, like which way the pupils are. Um, what's like the ratio between like the um, the whites of the eyes to like the actual corneas or irises um, and then just repeat that over and over again you'll eventually just be able to just know how to draw it I think same thing with eyelashes it comes down to the character you want to draw whether they'll have more or less eyelashes and yeah, because everyone's different. Um, there's no like one precise way to draw them. It just comes down to uh, how you want to draw it. And if it looks good to you, then it'll probably look good to the majority of people as well. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Um, Shadows Dusk says, oh no, I like having the majority. I don't want another one in Kelvin's camp. Yeah. Kelvin's got pretty, um, is he, is he here? I hope he's here. I don't think he is. <laughs> well, he knows what we think about his, um, his taste, at the very least. <laughs> what if I make my own camp and just don't like the whole thing? That's fine, because that means Joel and I are still in the majority, so, 
all good. And honestly, they're... <laughs> and honestly, a lot of people actually don't like Stormblood, and I don't... I don't blame them, honestly, because compared to Heaven's Ward, it's pretty shaky as a, like, a coherent story. So I think I'll just go with this. Yeah, yep, he knows. Not like we made it subtle. Yeah. Any opinions on Yuffie being the anti-cloud in 7 Remake? Um... I honestly haven't looked at anything regarding um I haven't really looked at anything regarding um the remake so yeah I'm not sure what anti cloud means. I don't really mind spoilers about the 7 remake here either except for like um the ending yeah, I don't even have a PS5, so I wouldn't even be able to play it. But like, what do you mean by anti-cloud? Because in the original, she kind of just like ganks your party in a forest. Let's start this one from the start. I think what I did earlier was I looked a lot better. Or like that. Oh, she's more happy and less depressing compared to Cloud. Honestly, I never really liked Yuffie's character. She was kind of just there. And contributed nothing to the story, so... Um... Yeah, that's what I think about her. When I was younger, I thought she was pretty cool, though. It was just, um... Yeah, there was, like, nothing to her character. What did you think about, um, Yuffie, Joel, now that you've played, um, FF7? Or do you, like, do you remember her character? <laughs> yeah, I think with the eyelashes, I'll go for something like this. Yeah, 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 Yuffie. Yuffie. Yuffie, Yuffie, Yuffie. <laughs> he doesn't even recall her, that's how important she was. I don't think that those eyelashes are going to work. She looks a bit, bit cross-eyed, if I'm honest. I feel like she doesn't really have much to her in FF7. I guess that's why they made um that expansion pack, to give her a bit more character. And god knows people would have like rioted if she wasn't... If she didn't play like a pivotal role in the story. <laughs> Waifu Wars are real, man. I've seen the horrors. Uh, 
Those eyelashes are not... Well, I guess um, maybe in like two months time, you'll see my um, improvements in eyelashes. <laughs> and maybe I can give some more substantial um, uh, advice. Tier 4 always be number one for me. I think I'll just leave it as it is. Honestly, it looks the best. Um... I don't even remember who my favourite is, to be honest. Maybe cross-dressing cloud. Oh, I made it um just seven, not um in any of the other games at the very least. Oh man. Could have drawn something in my webcam slot. If it's just seven, I'm probably in the Aerith camp. Man. I'm going to be wishy-washy. And I'm just going to say I like both of them equally. <laughs> um, it's both from what I've seen. Yeah, I'm going to go like, I'm going to become what I hate the most. I'm that guy. Well, I didn't like any of them more than the other. Like, if we really have to talk about, like, Final Fantasy waifus, I'd probably go with, uh, Dagger from 9. <laughs> I'm really that guy. Yep. All right. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Seven is this, um. I don't know. I don't know. Also, it looks like um, putting that low pass filter on kind of gets rid of a lot of my volume, which I guess is a good thing because that probably means my voice isn't as um, just getting drowned out by base <laughs> I'm just trying to deflect the um, accusations here all the arrows raining down on me you think if you played 7 before the others you thought more of it yeah that's fair enough I still need to like play all of 10 <laughs> and 10 to like to completion Because 10 was really good. And like, I know nothing about 10 too. <laughs> I played a bit of it. Oh. Okay, I might just bump that down a bit then. Whoops. Anyway, enough waifu talk. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you guys also feel 7 is more hype than it truly deserves to be? I'm in the camp that says it's hyped for a reason, because that was my first RPG, so I actually really like 7. But at the same time, I can see how it is overhyped too. <laughs> I think the initial hype when Advent Children came out made it like way too overhyped, but I still think it was good. But yeah, 14 is my favorite now. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's fair enough. 
the uh, the aesthetics probably didn't help either. I honestly feel like, oh my god, I just realized something. I screwed up. Um, I feel like I'm going to feel the same way about 6, because I do want to play that at one point, or at some point. But yeah, people were just like, that's like the greatest of all time, Final Fantasy 6. Personally didn't like 4 either. Um, I really liked 4. It was the Final Fantasy that kind of um, made me want to play the older ones, because I played that like when I was younger too. Because like, um, I pretty much finished 7 and 8 and I kind of wanted more. <laughs> And I screwed up bad with the um the hair coloring. I gotta find the mask layer. Yep, this one here. Actually. Nah. Fine. See what happens if I do this. The okay. That's what happens when I do that. Has FF14 ruined anyone who they brought back from the older games? Uh, no idea, man. But, man, Shadowbringers is like... I don't want to hype it up too much, but it's one of those experiences that was really hyped up for me, and I felt like it wouldn't live up to the hype. But yeah, it ended up being pretty good. <laughs> hey, let's um, let's do this by hand. Painting brush. Oh, look at that. I don't even have to, like, worry about anything because in the right part. You know what? I'm just going to continue doing the shading for this. But first, let's not take a selfie. And I'm just going to check the um, how many layers I have left. In case I run out, 25 left, 45 used. Uh, Stormblood and Shadowbringers, which would you say has the better music once I go through them? I would say Shadowbringers for sure. But Stormblood is no slouch. When I was going through Stormblood, the soundtrack honestly for the gameplay just like blew me away. The boss music and the battle, like the main, the overall battle theme is like good. It's quite good. It fits the theme of the, um, the overall expansion as well, which is good. Okay. Most of the FF14 songs so far have had Joel as backup vocals while playing. <laughs> Your dulcet tones. Are you considering a, um, a singing career, Joel? You can make a killing. 
You can like voice act and like do backup vocals and stuff. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back to only Japanese vocals though. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Joel Joel belts out a few um Japanese songs every so often. Probably every day in the shower. Let's continue going through the um yeah the shading then. So next up is the legs here. I will just take this color here and make it a little bit darker. That doesn't make it a bit darker. What are you doing? Ellipsis. Just seeing Bluebird in the shower. Also, going to go on call for Nintendo later? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't mind. Um, I actually didn't get much sleep last night because kind of had an emergency this morning, so I had to go somewhere, but uh, I don't mind staying on till like 2. That's fine. I uh, will be okay. Yeah, it's not super late like the other stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Not like, um... What the hell am I doing? <laughs> it's like, I'm a little bit rusty. Please make a new layer. There we go. We can mask that. And then we rename that to Leggings. VA1. Yeah, Yeah, 5 a.m. for the square one, 7 a.m. for the Capcom one that were both disappointing. It'd be... Okay. I'm just going to do a very rough, like, um, shadows here. That doesn't look right. Jeez, it was disappointing enough for him to tell me. Oh wait, um, Kelvin sent me a message saying it was disappointing. I was like, Jeez, it was disappointing enough for him to tell me. Dude, Yuri's like his E3 buddy. You stayed up with him one night. Now you're in it for the long haul. <laughs> uh, I wonder if he's going to be staying up for the Nintendo Direct. Oh. I was going to say, we could do a stream, but I saw that um they're not allowing streams for the like reactions of the Direct. They do allow people... Um, They do allow people recording their reactions and posting it as a video later, but they don't allow streaming. But maybe they won't care because we're not even monetized, man. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo being Nintendo. Curb your enthusiasm. Get out of here. How dare you be excited and want to record yourself reacting to things. <laughs> we're actually nobody. Oh, hey, man, you're you're getting pretty big. Well, it's not all bad. You're like, um, just around the corner from pretty much being affiliate. Maybe. Uh, I think you will. You've been, like, improving, like, bit by bit. Like, consistently, I mean. Sorry, my brain's, like, really fried.
Ups. Maybe. Aren't you just missing the followers to qualify? Yeah. Yeah, followers shouldn't be too bad. If if you just keep going, like people are gonna notice you for sure. Was expecting to have issues with average viewers. But apparently it's just followers now. Just say BTS on all your socials and yes that I almost fell for that. I don't want to get clipped for that one like voice line and get like <laughs> Yeah <laughs> I stopped myself. I think for this, we just gotta make all of that shadowed out. Whole life just flashes before me. You just hear me slap myself before I finish it. song is um very catchy yeah it's the um this one is um I forgot what the um name of the dungeon was the Midgard solo one getting cancelled speed run <laughs> man how the guilty gear strive speaking of getting cancelled speed run the guilty gear strive memes are so amazing i love them so much there's so much weird crap that's just going on in that game right now it's all of them there was one with um the what was it connecting to server speed run any percent or something oh wait no Character select screen speed run because um, when you start the game, it has to connect to the network and that takes like five minutes or something. I think the dude's speed run in quotation marks took like um, three minutes to get to the character select screen. For whatever reason, it takes so long to connect to the servers. Yeah. Let's go back to this layer and let's um, do something about this. That's like impressively bad, yeah. It's the game itself is fun, but man, there's some weird stuff going on. correct or not. It was really weird. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> um, let's go back to this layer. Oh man, what am I doing? <laughs> Whoops. Let's go back to this layer. Oh man, what am I doing? 
let's uh, grab this as well. Did Activision not join E3? You mean E3 didn't join Activision? Also, I'll let you on a little secret. Well, this drawing, I purposely made her thighs a little bit pudgier. <laughs> this secret stays between us. The hips are definitely not this big <laughs> in the original picture. <laughs> Yes, it's my style. I call it the calorie lens. I see everyone with a little bit of padding on them. I'd expect nothing less from you. I also expect nothing less from myself. Um, that reminds me, I need to fix up the brushes a tiny bit. Weird stuff going on here. Just make this really rough anyway. Yeah, seal, uh... A seal mascot for my channel. I wanted to put, like, um... The loader leaf on it. And also like a construction cap, because <laughs> why not? Every game would have a thigh slider if you were in charge, of course, man. I don't want to, I should probably like lay off this. I don't want to be known as the, um, the thigh guy. I don't need that kind of attention on me. But do I want that kind of attention on me? No, <laughs> not like there's any chance of stopping that now. Well, we know what you like at KFC now. It's too late. Actually, yeah, remember when we went to um, B Churrasco Joel? My favorite there is actually the uh, chicken thighs. Just because they taste so good. Also, there's like no one watching anyway, so I'm not going to be, um, there's no one to judge me at the very least. Just you guys and me. Looks like, um, did you see, um, Elden Ring, the, um, gameplay reveal, well, not gameplay reveal, but like the actual trailer, it legit just looks like, um, Dark Souls, but just with a different name, even like the setting and the, um, like all the environment stuff looks exactly the same, they could have just named it Dark Souls 4 to be honest. And just see Twitch staff join chat and say they approve. I was making this all dark, it's all in shadow. It all have a had shading on it anyway. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Uh, grab you. 
Oops. Okay. Is Bioshock finished or will they just will they release a new game? I loved Bioshock back then. I have no idea, man. <laughs> That's actually something I want to play because I never actually finished any of the Bioshock games, but I did like the first one. And yeah, I don't I have no idea what they're doing with that series. I love it. Yeah, I know I will. I, I really like what I've seen of it so far. Oh, I forgot to um, color in the laces here. I don't know what color they should be. Maybe I'll just make them maybe brown as well. Perhaps black. Let's do black. Actually, no, let's do brown. It's more of an interesting color at the very least. Top of thigh coloring, that makes sense. Places. I want to do visual novels on stream, but at the same time, they're like really not interesting to watch. <laughs> it's just all text. And, um,. Nier has been a very interesting experience in terms of the text. I don't think my throat will actually be able to hold up. Unless I get that, um, that honey. I'll just make this really dark. You're supposed to be... Okay, I didn't even, um... Inch layer there. Nice one. <sighs> that goes a little bit too far there. I want honey sweet chicken thighs. Dude, the thighs are like the most succulent part of the chicken. So good. Anyway. Anyway. This guy can't stop himself. Yeah, I've got nothing to say to that, to be honest. You caught me red-handed. I was going to make another joke, but I'm not going to do that here. Just hear someone eating chicken while watching E3. This notes here. All right. That's all the shading for that. Let's um go into the thighs now. Hmm. Okay, that was pretty creepy. I apologize. <laughs> Why do I hear slurping sounds? Just like lip smacking and stuff. 
or lip smacking in quotation marks. I'm sorry, I need help. Uh, okay. I'll probably finish up the stream in like maybe half an hour or so. So, yeah. Probably do a longer stream tomorrow night, at the very least. I was really, I was ready to like stream until the Nintendo Direct and then, oh. Those USB issues. Give me a bit of time to look at USB options as well and order it tonight before the Nintendo Direct. Does having two leggings VA1 not confuse you? Um... It would if it wasn't for the um the blue part. But yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I didn't notice that. Let's change that to back. Uh, okay, that doesn't do any mm, stop it. This one, I just want to do thigh coloring. But yeah, um, the idea for this, at the very least, like all the VA crap, is um, I'll go through each one and just paint them all. Uh, sorry, just paint them all completely, fill in all the details and everything, and then I'll merge all the layers, and then move on to the next part because they're all layered appropriately so I can just work on one section at a time um I'm doing the whole thing for now just to have a look at like where the shadows are going to be uh, just to make sure that they're all consistent I won't be able to do a very good job of it but yeah is that the best approach for all drawing probably not <laughs> it's just something I just want to trial and error myself Um, yeah, I'll, because, like, that's what I've seen other people do, so that's just what I'm going to do myself, and if there's anything that's, um, anything that, uh, doesn't really work out that well, I'll just change it on, depending on, like, how I work through it. Because, yeah, all of this is, like, a first for me. Yeah, best approach or, like, worst approach. Either way, <laughs> I suck, so, there's, yeah. Because, um, I tend to have a habit of, like, overthinking things, and I don't start anything until I know, like, exactly what I'm going to do. And the thing with streaming was, I wanted to just throw myself into the deep end and do this, like, on camera. Because I actually learn best when I do something. I don't learn very well when I just look up things. And just study it. But yeah. Once you merge, you can't do anything right. Couldn't figure that out when I finished drawing, so I left them... Once merged. When you merge them, you can still work on them but it'll just be the one layer it, and it seems like um i think what you you've mentioned there as well if you have a transparent um like line or just a transparent object or anything when you merge it it stays as transparent and you can't really fix that from what i've seen if there is a way to fix that i would actually really like to know because yeah these lines here they're all transparent and i can't do anything about them and like this thing, for some reason, it's just thing like that. I'll probably fix it off stream.
Anyway, let's um get into these fires. Dive right in. But yeah, once I'm finished with something, like once I merge all the layers for the painting, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave it as it is and then just move on and yeah. But yeah, man, drawing is like a lot of work, I've now realized. <laughs> I'm going to do like other projects off stream as well on the side, but yeah. I'm going to focus on finishing this one first and then I'll decide to do like other ones later. Or I might work on like multiple at a time rather than just one by itself. This is nothing like the YouTube video showed me about drawing. The bloody, um, those time lapses are really impressive. I go through like the same process, but like mine's a million times slower <laughs> and looks a million times worse as well. Also, man, have you seen, um, oh, what people, what people think artists do? Where they just um, use the eraser and just like um, erase the layer. <laughs> and then it was all drawn. Oh, let me just render it. Oh man. Anyway, let's. Uh, these thighs aren't gonna shade themselves. Whoops. That's what I wanted. And I wanted to go here and turn this down a tiny bit. Whoops. Let's mask. No, let's not mask that. Let's clipping mask that. Uh, what were we going to ask that have I seen? Uh, have you seen Araki Draw, the artist for Jojo? There's like a video of him drawing like um, a huge like pretty much a huge um, uh, what, what would you even call it? A huge picture of like all the main characters. And like it's it's pretty cool to watch. Okay, it looks like just turning down the uh, brightness doesn't really work for this. So um, with this, let's do this. And then let's turn that down a tiny bit. There we go. That looks okay to me at the very least. Uh, you've not seen that yet? Okay, um, I guess this can be a very short break time. I'll find it, I'll link it in the chat. One second. I'm going to have to use my personal, not my personal YouTube account, but my uh, Are You Okay? or Are You Okay? YouTube channel <laughs> to do stuff on stream. Just because I don't want to see you guys to see my recommended. There's some weird, pretty weird stuff in here. Alrighty. Uh, what, what would it, what would it be called? C 
seals, thighs, and slapping. That's all we know. Seals slapping their stomachs, of course. I don't know what you guys are thinking of. Jeez. Get your minds out of the gutter. I could hook you up, though. Okay, there's a slow version, and then there's like a fast version. The slow version is 1 hour 30 minutes. <laughs> the fast version is 7 minutes. Which do you prefer? Both. Okay. Oh wait, they're not the same picture. Never mind. This this one was the one I wanted to link. Here we go. Okay. The chat in OBS doesn't seem to like pacing links. <laughs> And you link a meme, it isn't bad. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm not showing it on stream anyway, so all good. think before drawing. It really does sound like that. Oh, it does really does feel like that to be honest. With um Jojo. But eh. It's still good. See if I can this one go. There we go. sits on there, so... Would I show my idol my artwork, or would I be embarrassed? I'd probably be embarrassed. Honestly, even just streaming like this. I'm pretty much just telling myself to not worry about it and just go ahead and stream, but I'm actually really nervous right now. It's also why, um my brain just gets like completely zapped during streams so yeah I'd be very embarrassed or very nervous at the very least
Uh, the more I do it, the less I care. Not really, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I get, yeah, I guess so. I get used to the feeling. I don't, it doesn't go away, but I just know how to deal with it. Mm, yeah. Especially like learning on stream as well. Like, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing right now in terms of drawing. I'm just kind of like slapping stuff on the canvas and hoping it looks good. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't happen for everyone. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Like I just mentioned, the thing is, I want to learn on stream, but I'm very uncomfortable with um, showing how I'm learning. <laughs> so... I'm streaming with the intent of actually showing my mistakes and showing where my shortcomings are. And it's like, yeah. I didn't think it would be this nerve wracking, but it is. Actually, just um, streaming though, like gear and stuff, I don't mind too much. To be honest, it's more just the drawing part of it. I wonder what was going through Husky and Alex's head while they had the interview with Sokken. Sokken. Uh, yeah, I wonder what they were going, what they were thinking as well. They were actually really nervous. Just imagine where all our underwear. And to feel less pressured. Um, what I've been doing pretty much to deal with it is just reminding myself it's more just for me to improve and for other people to learn off me and less about how I look. So, yeah. And that it's like okay to make mistakes because that's like the whole, whole point of this, really. <laughs> mistakes are going to happen. Either way. It's just when I stream, when I make a mistake, I'm more uh, inclined to get back in there and fix those mistakes. Whereas it's a lot harder to do it in private because I'm there's like no accountability. It's just discipline. At least I'm honest about my mistakes. Uh, I, I don't... I wouldn't say that. More just coping, really. Or learning how to cope. I ask, have you kept all your older vids uh, safe to look back on? Actually, I have. Um, it's all privated on my YouTube, but I'll open it once near and this picture's finished. Um, I do watch my VODs though, like I rewatch them and see where I've gone wrong. At least when I have the time. Otherwise, I just kind of skip through it and just listen to myself and watch myself draw and see where I can improve and stuff. But yeah, at the very least, um, with what I did with um, Nia yesterday and what I'm doing with drawing today, it's much easier to focus on just one thing during a stream, like one main thing and just have maybe like other things sprinkled in rather than just like jumping from straight up drawing and then straight into like gaming or vice versa. Um, anyway, this is more about like <laughs> how I feel about streaming rather than like the actual um, drawing itself. 
Need to save them before seven days, right? Yeah, pretty much. You can export them to YouTube. If you just link your YouTube channel, you can just... It's as simple as clicking a button, and then it exports it to it in the background. And you don't have to worry about it. Whereas if you save it from Twitch itself, like save the VOD onto physical storage, then you have to pretty much um, wait until it like converts into whatever format you're saving in, and then you can download it. Yeah. I'm literally just dumping everything on YouTube. And yeah. Have you worked on giving yourself short breaks midstream to rest yourself? That's pretty much what I'm doing like now, what I'm trialing now. So I'm just sitting here and chatting because like, yeah, I'm starting to lose focus. But yeah, um, I think uh, you can't see my mouse cursor, but you know where the, the clock is? To the left of that, I'm going to have like um, focus time and then break time. Um, just to indicate if I'm like focusing on drawing or actually having a break and I'll probably alternate like um, every hour well not every hour but like every hour might have like a maybe 10 minute break and just like chat and then switch to like my browser or something and then yeah go back because yeah yeah nothing wrong with um Nothing wrong with just chatting midway to get concentration. Yeah. I think it helps with um, the user, not user, the viewer participation as well. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, just purely drawing probably isn't very interesting. Um, and just talking about drawing probably isn't too interesting, like, long term. And just like um, how you showed me that meme just now, I'm sure there would be people who want to actually just, yeah, sit around and chat and hang out. And just be comfy, I guess. Which is what I would like. <laughs> Chatting while zoomed in on a thigh, man of culture. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. You've got a good eye, man. And you've got good taste. I hope, I hope Joel is listening as well. We'll see if he um, responds, I guess. <laughs> Would expect nothing else. There we go. There it is. He went to find... Eye slapping seals. Oh, you're behind. Oop. That's alright. I like behinds too. It took forever for my comment to appear. Okay. Maybe it's my stream that's behind. <laughs> Because I am dropping quite a few frames. Ellipsis. What's wrong, Joel? Are you okay? No, I probably have to reload. Joel's never okay. There he is. No, I think Joel's okay. Actually, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. He's not okay. He's better than okay. Okie doke. I like personality and BTS in case anyone is listening. Good to know you got my back, man. <laughs> Just watch my viewership blow up now. And I don't know what to make of that. 
Uh, only positive things, man. Don't worry. Just accept your fate, Shadow's Dusk. This seems to happen a lot. Well, what can we do but just keep on... Hang on, I guess. Yeah, okay. It's only a, need a lot more detail, but that's fine. Okay, shorts time. This is, um, not gonna go well. Man, the, um, the Rome Reborn boss theme sucks. <laughs> yep, victory. Just as I said, it sucks. <laughs> Can we never talk about a Rome Reborn again? I... I'm all for that, but I kind of wa like watching reactions as well. <laughs> and then all we're missing here is this Kelvin being like, I didn't mind a Rome Reborn. <laughs> I thought it was okay. You, you thought you'd quit. I thought you'd quit the game before you finished it, dude. I've seen too many quit before they finished a Realm Reborn, and I don't blame them at all, honestly. That game is just, yeah. Hmm. Two point oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's completely understandable. That's one hundred percent true. Yeah, you can't actually hear me slapping my stomach on the stream, so... Damn. Wait, if I stood up, I think my stomach would be at, like... My kind, and maybe I can, like, slap my tummy. I don't know. One day. I'll make an animation of, like, a seal slapping itself. What was I going to do? Crap. Okay. Normally I have other things in the background while playing games, but A Realm Reborn was the background for me doing other things. <laughs> At every point in it, you don't want to do it, <laughs> pretty much. That game is, like, so bad. So mind-numbingly bad. They have MSQ for us to remember, remember it every day. Just like, hey, things could be worse. Uh, mind the right one. So what did we gain from those last 10 quests? Basically nothing. No, Joel. We didn't gain nothing. We got the dude his wine. <laughs> In those last 10 quests. Times four because each quest is like four different fetch quests. We gained negative time. You could actually feel like... Your facial hair just growing as you play through that. By the end of those 10 quests, you have like a 5 o'clock shadow. 
Oh man, we learned what dispatch really was. Move aside, dung and robber. A realm reborn is here. A dung and romper execution for like a FF14 player would just be like forcing them to play a realm reborn over and over again until they just die. <laughs> a realm reborn is the ultimate despair. It's the ultimate despair simulator. It's like a realm reborn was inspired by WoW. Yeah, inspired by WoW and took like all the worst part parts about it. Man, this boss theme is so not good. I'll skip to the next one. Okay, this works. I was wondering when it was going to get epic. Yeah. Hey, MMOs have meaningless fetch quests and delivery requests. We should have those. Hmm. And I'm sure Yoshi P was just like, whatever, just make sure it's an actual MMO. Oh, just remember the quest you had like stiff chocobos and there's that other one where you have to fill a bucket and there's like three different steps you put the bucket down you fill it up with water then you pick it up <laughs> god why did I say sniff chocobos yes I did say sniff chocobos Complained so much about that bucket quest. It was bad. It was so bad. Oh man. Anyway, um, gosh, I don't think I'll be able to do the um shorts tonight. All right. Uh. I'll look a little bit more like a picture, I guess. I'll just do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. That just reminded me of how people said Realm Reborn was good because of stuff like sniffing the chocobo thing. But like one or two funny moments doesn't make up for all the pain. Yeah, I don't remember any of the funny moments to be honest. But it was all pain. <laughs> I'll never forget that pointless door I had to enter and leave constantly before you told me how to make it easier. Alright, the um assigning the use button to an uh, actual physical button. Oh man. Fun times. I think A Realm Reborn is one thing I'll never feel nostalgic about at all. Same thing with 1.0. It was so bad. What funny moments? I don't recall any. Uh, yeah, don't know. There's other people talking about it. I don't remember anything either. I think my brain tried to erase everything there was about the game. Uh, the only thing is I remember about the Aroma Born is like... Ifrit. 
Titan. The Wine Quest. And like the last cutscene, and also the um, Snow Cloak stuff. Is it Snow Cloak? Yeah, those are like the only things I remember, to be honest. My only positive memory is the moment Peter realized how meaningless it all was. <sighs> when was that moment? I feel like... I don't remember when that moment was, to be honest. It was after I finished it all. Oh. Right. True. I think I still had like that little faint glimmer of hope throughout the whole thing. And then once I finished it, I just knew. <laughs> you realize it's a waste of time because you get nothing. And that was the moment I decided to tell everyone who starts a game to bloody skip Aeron Reborn. Because. Oh man. That is some. A steaming pile of trash. Also, Kelvin just dropped in and just left, I think. Yeah, he did. I got to ask him about the, um... Because the entire time you were like, I don't mind it. I'm pretty sure I was suffering inside and I was just saying that. Because I was literally counting the quests, how many were left until the end, and just nothing happened. Yeah, maybe finishing it broke me. Oh, come on, see what... Uh, did you want to, like, watch the Nintendo Direct together on Discord? That's why I wanted to ask you. It said you weren't in chat anymore for some reason. Oh, now you're in chat. Oh. All I know was I was bashing it. And you're just like, I don't mind it so far. Okay, Joel, I think I know exactly where you're talking about. Because I remember saying that, and it was like level 40-ish. And shortly after that was when it started going downhill. But I wanted to like cling on to the hope that I would get something out of it. Then when I actually finished it, I realized I got nothing out of it. <laughs> like it was actually like... Not even meaningless, it was just... Well, it was literally meaningless in every sense of the word. Like, it had no impact on any of the other story. It was so bad. Anyway, this is, um, digging up some trauma that I don't want to be on stream. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna finish up. <laughs> uh... It was literally just throwing your time away. Yeah, it was. I wish I could get those 100 hours back. It was a really sad time. And now I'm feeling sad. Alright, well, uh... I'm gonna end there before I start crying on stream of um, all that time that I'm never getting back. <laughs> so, uh, thanks guys for tuning in. I apologize for the scuffedness of the whole thing and my USB ports just dying <laughs> and the lack of camera and lack of everything else. Um, I hope, well, I'll talk to you guys on Discord anyway, but if anyone here is listening, I hope you all have a wonderful night and... If you're on the other side of the world, as usual, hope you have a great day. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next stream. I'll be streaming near tomorrow night. Good night. <laughs>